Welcome to this video tutorial on how to update your Euclid 6 installation using the Euclid Updater. You can use the Euclid Updater to update both the desktop and server versions of Euclid. The Updater also migrates your Euclid data and, in case an issue happens during the update, allows you to restore your installation back to its previous state. To update your Euclid 6 installation to the latest version, you first need to download the Updater from the Euclid 6 website. Save the updater package in your Euclid 6 installation folder, which contains the GlassFish 4 folder. After saving the updater package, you should open the zip archive and place its content inside the Euclid 6 installation folder. From the folder you have copied, launch the updater wizard by double-clicking the executable file named Euclid 6 update tool.exe The updated tool will now open as a new window. The first thing to notice is that throughout the wizard you will find instructions as well as key information about your update. In this first step you will need to do two things. Firstly, select the path to the installation folder for the version of Euclid you wish to update or verify that the installation folder is correct if it is already provided. I am choosing to update the desktop installation of Euclid 6 version 130. Remember that you can update any previous version of Euclid 6 desktop or server using the updater. Secondly, select the option to update your Euclid application. As you can see, the updater has automatically found the correct installation an installation folder I wish to update. You should see this too. If you wish to change the installation you are updating, simply select Browse and select the installation folder of the Euclid version you wish to update. Now select Next. In case an issue happens during the update, the updater takes care of backing up your current Euclid 6 installation. Select a location to save the backup file. The backup file will be created before updating Euclid. It is important that the backup file is saved outside of the Euclid installation folder. I will save my backup in a folder I have created for this purpose. Now select Next. After selecting which installation of Euclid 6 you wish to update and the location you wish to save your backup file, the updater will automatically detect which Euclid 6 database you are migrating. You can verify the selection by clicking on Verify, which will display a message in the bottom left-hand corner of the window on whether the database parameters have been verified successfully or not. If the Euclid 6 installation you are updating has data which was migrated from Euclid 5 and you still have Euclid 5 installed on your machine, you can also provide the connection details to your Euclid 5 database to resolve minor issues linked to previous updates. Now select Next. Now you can review the update you are about to do. If you agree with the update details, click Finish. The update will now take place. Inside the update folder, you will find the logs for the update. This logs the migration, the application update, and if you provided Euclid 5 database parameters, the patch tool which fixed minor issues linked to previous updates. In the unlikely event that a problem occurs during the update, you can launch the updater one more time to restore the state prior to the update. If the problem persists, you can contact the ECHA help desk, remembering to include the logs folder. Select Start Euclid at the end of the update process to instantly start the latest version of Euclid. When starting your Euclid after updating, this may take a little while longer. Thank you.